guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are gonna color my hair again and that's why I have no makeup on and I'm wearing a shitty t-shirt which I don't mind getting ruined. So yes, let's get coloring, let's get those grays gone. Um, so today I'm gonna show you a very amazing effective hair color which is very underrated. It's this hair color right here. The, the box looks really tiny. Okay, now this is Began, Bijan. I don't know how do you pronounce this, but this is Began in the shade N10. This is the darkest of the dark blacks that are available in this range. I always use black color, like the jet black color for my hair because I love my hair to look jet black with a small little tinge of green which is now gone already nonetheless uh, now I'm going to color my hair in black the name of the shade is as I said N10 Oriental Black and this is ideal for covering grays this is a base color which covers your grays it's basically a dye for your hair to be uh, if I can put it in the simplest terms the application for this one is absolutely simple. It's very very easy like any other normal hair color. All you need to do is mix the powder in this with plain water. Mix it in a homogeneous mixture and apply it on your hair and leave it on for 30 minutes. And that's all you need to do. Okay, so since I have tried my hand at highlighting, <laughs> Since I had to try my hand at highlighting and using that L'Oreal Paris' DIY highlight kit, I have not covered my grays for about 2 months now. Now that is something I do every 4-5 to five weeks. So I usually color or dye my hair, whatever you call it, every 4-5 to five weeks because that's how you have to do if you have to color your, cover your grays. The contents of this packet are very basic there is a powder in a bottle the bottle used to be a glass bottle earlier now they've made it into a plastic bottle it's a basic plastic bottle a measuring cup and the leaflet you have to purchase your own gloves you have to take care of your own brush and the mixing bowl so you don't get gloves and brush in this one as you would get in other colors uh, with the bigger packets so of course since this is a hair color all the colorings are allergic in nature so you should always test uh, you should always pre-test the hair color before putting it on your hair so do a patch test on your arm inner side of your arm or back of your ear before 24 hours before the actual hair color that you want to do and see if that it reacts or not that so it's very very simple so if you want to know how i do it and what the results are Please keep on watching. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you how many greys do I have. That's going to be gross if you don't like seeing grey hair on dark haired women. So please don't watch if you don't want to watch. So let's begin. Now I have a lot of grey in this particular portion of my hair. So if I can show you, this is the parting where I have maximum of greys. I don't know if the camera catches it well or no but this is where I have maximum grays and as you can see that my hair has I mean the root is showing through so I have to just touch up just cover up my roots and not do the strands but today I'm gonna do the strands because a few days back I tried the highlighting kit which was all through my strands so I am going to cover all of my hair as much as possible through this kit and show you how it looks so let's begin by mixing the two now when you're trying to mix this please make sure that the fan is switched off and that's exactly what I'm going to do now So the fan is off now and I'm sitting on the measuring cup. Anyways, let's begin by very simply taking a non-metallic bowl. Again, I'm taking this container which you get from the hotels 
when you order something these are nice uh, plastic containers which do not react with your color and let's begin so all you need to do is pour the whole content Since I have used the whole bottle of this, I need to add 5 cups of this one. So I am going to take 5 cups of water and add it into it. So this is the water. You need to just take plain water. No hot, no cold, nothing of that sort. Strangely enough, this time it's looking a little more liquidy to me, but I'm going to mix it through. And show you the consistency that I get after mixing it thoroughly. Since it's a fine powder, you need to really break in the lungs. You can whisk it if you can, but I prefer using the brush to do this. It does the job. Also make sure that you get the color from where it's stuck on the bowl, on the corners and everything. So don't worry if the mixture looks too watery. It thickens up once you have mixed everything nicely. With colors, it's really, really important that you mix everything thoroughly. Like it's absolutely nicely mixed without any lumps or anything. Alright, so this is the consistency that I get when I am when I have mixed everything together, which is absolutely fine. And all I'm going to do is put my gloves on and start coloring my hair. I usually begin coloring my hair from this part of the head because this is where I have maximum grace. And then move on like this and then take the back of my hair. Right? So we are going to do this really quick. Okay? Since I've been doing this every month, I am really quick in this. You can take your own sweet time to do this. And please do not use any leftover mixture of the color. Please throw it away. Yes. So, here we go. I feel like a doctor in this one. Anyway, so I am going to begin with... Alright, and do not worry if the color of the mixture keeps on darkening. Because it does. It does not actually affect the properties of the color. So there is a lot of color on my brush as well. I'm just simply going to brush through. Doesn't matter. I have to anyways color all my hair. Right? So let's begin by brushing your hair or combing your hair. So I'm going to begin by parting my hair like so. And this is where it begins. Please make sure that you put on something that you don't mind ruining. Otherwise, you might end up staining your clothes, your floor, your table, whatever, wherever you have kept the color. I have kept it on my bed sheet. And I am really very careful. Anyway, so I'm just going to comb it through once I've applied the color. Take a little more because I need a little more here. Okay, so once you've colored it like so, you just take whatever is left on the back side of the brush and just put it like this. So I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and get back to you.
so now I have applied the color throughout my hair what you can also do with this color is if there is any color which is left or any part of the hair that is at the back of your head which is left you can take some color on your hands just rub it through your hands and spread it evenly and then you can also start applying on your hair strands just like this uh, so that's the beauty of this color and that's what I exactly did to put color on the back of my hair uh, so I have now completely covered my head into color except that small little strand at the back of my head or the nape of my neck which neck which is bleached so I don't want to color that so rest everything I have colored and I'm going to leave this on for 25 minutes it's 2 5 right now and wash it at 2 30 and then once my hair is dry I'm gonna get back and show you how the hair looks and I'm gonna tell you how the color works so that's it for now I will see you quickly so yes this is how my hair color has turned out if you can see all the grays have gone So that's how good this color is. It covers your grays and there is nothing on the skin, nothing on the scalp. So that's how good it is. So if you are looking for something easy peasy to color your, cover your grays, uh, you can definitely use this one. It is an amazing product. I highly, highly recommend this. And it lasts on your hair for about 4 to 5 weeks depending on your hair growth and the number of times you shampoo your hair and yes it's a good one so that's it if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and comment down below if you have already used that bye i'll see you in the next one